Hey, what's going on everybody? John Bear Gaming coming at you today with a little bit of a pack opening. Now, there is a bit of a story about this pack opening. So, on Sunday afternoon I was watching my buddy Dude Food Gaming on Twitch as he was streaming his ESL tournament games. And he got matched up with a really, really good player. If you guys don't know him, he got matched up with Foul Next Door. Spoiler alert. Dude Food Gaming won that game. In his chat, I don't know if I'm going to find the screenshot, but I'll try to find it and put it here in the video. But in his chat before that game started, I told Dude Food Gaming that if he beat Kyle next door, then I would open five finest elite packs for a YouTube video. So, once again, spoiler alert, Dude Food won. So that's what we're doing here. We've got five of these finest elite packs. Let's show you what you can possibly get in these. These are the three cards that we're looking for right here. We're looking for this 99 overall Cody Bellinger. If you guys haven't seen it already, go watch my debut video with him. And we've also got 99 Alex Bregman. Pretty good card. Only used him just a little bit, but I haven't debuted him quite yet. If you guys want to see a debut, let me know. And also, this 99 Josh Hader. I talked about him a little bit before. Now, I haven't used him, but I'm not a big fan of Josh Hader's previous card in the game, which is his Live Series Diamond. But this card does have a changeup, so maybe that changes things about him. So, that's what we're looking to get. We're hoping to at least get one of those so we can get some of our stubs back. Because if not, we just ripped five packs and did not get anything. So, that would kind of suck. Wouldn't be too bad pulling this Rendon, Arenado, Marte. One of these three cards would be pretty nice too. But we're looking for this, these three big boys right here. Bellinger, Bregman, and Hayter. We've also got 12 regular show packs. So we're going to open these up a little bit too. Let's get ripping. Alright, first of these 12 packs, we don't really get anything. I'm going to kind of fly through these because I know you guys want to see the finest packs. We do get a gold player. We get... 82 overall, Babe Ruth. We're just going to quick sell him for a quick thousand. We can get some of our subs back on that. Get nothing here. It would be awesome if we could pull some type of nice diamond out of this one. If we could pull like a regular Nolan Aaron out of that would be absolutely sick. Because I want to say he's going for, you know, one of the most possible on the market. So that would be kind of nice. we got seven left of these standards. Or not these standards. These are just show packs. I'm not even sure what these are. So we got six left. Let's see if we can pull at least one diamond out of these. Not looking good so far. We get Lane Thomas. Alrighty, then five to go. Get another bronze. Adrian Gonzalez towards the end of his career. He's had a good one. Get another bronze here. Framber Valdez to finish it off. Three more to go. Thought I saw some blue on that. Instead, I saw a 46. That's nice. All right, two left of these regular show packs, but we're wanting to get to the finest. We get nothing there. Cardinals legend Juan Nicasio, let's go. All right, one more of these show packs. Let's see what we get. And we get nothing. All right, all right. So what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to like this video. If you guys end up dropping likes on this video, we're going to get some more luck. We're going to pull at least two of these Bregmans or Bellingers. So that would be pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this until the end of it, so we'll have to take a look. But let's get ripping. We got five of these finest elite packs. Let's get going. We get a one in ten chance at the elite. And the first one, we don't get anything good. We get one of the base tiers. It looks like we're going to be going for the one that sells the most. That's probably going to be Mr. Josh Bell. I'm not even going to go through the rest of them. So we'll go ahead and sell him on the market when we get a chance. We got four more of these to go. Let's get cracking. All right, so we do get a rare tier card. Not that bad of a pull. It looks like this Francisco Lindor might be going for the most. Oh, never mind. Cattell Marte, here we go. Nice, so we get our stubs back from that pack. We'll sell him on the market here in just a little bit. Not a bad pull. Let's see if we can get one more of those and then one of the big guys. All right, we got three to go. Let's rip another. All right, we get ourselves a, another base tier. Nothing too special out of these. That Tatis is going for a little bit more than I thought. And it looks like he's going for the most out of all of these. So 
that's a big fat rip right there so we've gotten two of the base tiers one of the rare tiers none of the elites we're looking for one elite pull so let's go get one two more packs and once again we get ourselves another base round my goodness this sucks <laughs> uh we're probably gonna pick up i don't know let's go with another tatis let's go with another fernando tatis we got ourselves three of them. His sell not price actually went up to 15k. All right, we got one of these left. Let's make it a good one. Come on, game. Come on. Come on, Ramon. Bless me with this pack. One more to go. And we do get a rare tier. That's okay. But we are looking for one of the elite cards. We did not get it. But it is what it is. We're going to probably pick up this, uh, uh that Marte. We'll pick up, um, we'll pick up this Francisco Lindor. In fact, we might end up keeping this Francisco Lindor because he's going for almost as much as the pack. So I feel like we might have actually saved a little bit. So that's kind of nice. But unfortunately, we couldn't pull any of the elite cards. We tried our best, but it is what it is. We can only get so much pack luck. I have pulled Mike Trout this year, so our pack luck might be out. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and turn on the notification bell so you guys know when my videos go live. Make sure to also follow me on Twitch and also follow me on Twitter. I will be uh, streaming a lot more on Twitch here in the upcoming weeks, so make sure to go follow me on that platform and come watch me over there on Twitch on that purple thing. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Have a good one.